long, you'll see how easy it is to mark, but uh, I'm coming in, I'm checking my environment, making sure it's safe for me, mechanism of injury, is he falling off and hit by a car, is there a ladder down? Um, I've got one casualty, do I need any uh, help here, 911 or a uh, rescue team, on-site resources, and put my personal protective equipment on. There's my two marks for MCAP. Hello, buddy, can you hear me? You okay? He's not alert, he's not responding verbally. I want to initiate some sort of painful stimulus, and he's unresponsive. So there's my AFPU. Moving on to my ABCs, I'm going to use a modified jaw thrust because there is a ladder lying on the ground. And so that's my A. Moving on to B, 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, he's taken two breaths. So he is breathing adequately. Move on to C. And he does have a pulse, so he is alive. Nothing critical at this point. Skin conditions warm, thick and dry. Cap refill, it's all good. And I'm going to do my gross bleed check. Luckily, he is not bleeding to death on me. So I'm going to move on to my neck to, uh, to knees just to, to complete my initial or primary assessment. <coughs> Excuse me. In the neck, I'm going to start looking for claps with my eyes, using my hands to feel for ticks. Claps are contusions, lacerations, abrasions, penetration, extension, deformity, symmetry, swelling. Ticks are tenderness, instability, crepitus, extension, deformity, subcutaneous emphysema, symmetry, swelling. Um, you won't get the marks unless you actually physically feel for ticks. You can tell me you're feeling for ticks, but if you don't get your hands on, you ain't getting the marks and touch them. Do you have to say what, you, what each one, one means? If the, yep. The is, is there a remark there? There's five marks for rhyming off claps and ticks. Oh, okay. So uh, tracheal deviation, uh, is, uh, there is none. It's midline. You need to physically see you doing it, and there is no JVD. Moving on to the chest. Now that I've rhymed off claps and ticks, I can just use the mnemonics. I'm looking for claps. I'm feeling for ticks. Sir, if you can hear me, let me know if any of this hurts. Can you take a deep breath? Okay, good. Chest is moving um, equally, symmetrical. I'm visualizing the abdomen. I'm looking for a pulsating mass, that AAA. There is none noted. So I'm going to look for claps, feel for ticks. Periumbicalis assessment, four quadrants. Let me know if any of this hurts, sir. Okay, no rigidity noted. Moving on to the pelvis, I'm looking for claps, I'm feeling for ticks, and I also want to grab uh, the pelvis and check those three planes. One, two, three. Excellent. Uh, everything's stable there. Looking for claps and feeling for ticks on femurs to the knees, which ends my primary or my initial assessment. Okay, so at this point, environmental protection, oxygen, because it wasn't critical, oxygen's implementation earlier, and uh, setting up any other equipment. Now, moving on to my secondary, so my patient magically wakes up. So, sir, um, how are you feeling? All right, so, have any pain or nausea or anything like that? Looking for his symptoms? I don't see any signs. All right, do you have any allergies? Uh, no. No? Okay. There aren't any medication? No. No. Do you have any past medical history I should know about? Do you have diabetes, seizure disorders, anything like that? No. Heart condition, high blood pressure? No. So no past medical history. When was the um, uh, the last time that you ate since you don't have any medication to take? Uh, lunch. lunch. Okay. What was it? Do you remember what time? Um, 11.30. Okay. All right. And uh, so what happened here? Uh, no. So you fell off this ladder that's on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Were you at the top of it? Do you know? or? Uh, yeah. Okay. So it was a 10-foot fall. All right. So partner, you know. Had someone carry them over one time. Okay, so there's my sample history. Sir, do you have any pain? Uh, yeah, my back. You have, you're having back pain? Okay, so did you have that back pain before you fell? When did it start? No, so you got back pain now, so there's his onset. So the fall was his provoke. All right. Um, can you describe the pain to me? Is it dull or sharp or stabbing? Is it sharp? Sharp and stabbing? And is it it's in your back, but is it shooting anywhere? Is it going anywhere else? Okay, so he does have radiating pain up and down his back. On a scale of 1 to 10, can you rate that pain? 10 being the worst pain you've ever had in your life? Uh, 7. 7? All right, and so in this case, time coincides with the onset. There's your full pain assessment marks. So my patient assessment's done. So at this point, if I had a second DMT, or if I didn't, I would do it myself. I would delegate. I want to get my vital signs. I want to get his pulse, rate, rhythm, and volume. I want to get his respirations, rate, rhythm, and volume. I want to get his blood pressure by either uh, auscultation or palpation. I want to check his pupils to make sure they're equal and reactive to light. I want to check his, his skin for temperature, color, and condition. 
and I'm going to ask him, sir, um, what's your name? Uh, Dylan. Dylan, do you know where you are, Dylan? Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, do you know what day it is? Uh, it's April 28th. Close enough, okay? So I'm going to give him oriented by three. So there's my patient history done, there's my vitals done, that's page three. Full, I think full marks, call me on it if not. Now I'm going to move into my secondary assessment, back to the hands-on. Okay, now I'm going to, now that you're awake, sir, I'm just going to look you over from head to toe. I just want to make sure you don't have any cuts and scrapes or something that I missed before, okay? So gloves are on, we're checking his hair, looking for claps, feeling for ticks. I'm looking for any drainage of the eyes, ears, nose, or mouth, or any holes that shouldn't be draining. I'm going to look at his eyes, sir. Okay, his pupils are equal and reactive to light, and uh, check out frontal bone, zygomatic bone, maxilla. You don't have to name these all off in your test, but that's what I'm doing. I'm checking out all the facial structures. All right, so now I'm looking at the neck, I'm moved on, and I'm looking for claps, I'm feeling for ticks, I'm rechecking JVD, and also rechecking tracheal deviation. Okay. What do we do for checking JVD? Just wait. Yeah. I'm looking for uh, claps, I'm feeling for uh, ticks on his chest. Okay, sir, if you can uh, hear me, or you can now, can't you? Take a nice yeah. big deep breath for me. Okay, stethoscope out, and take a deep breath. And stethoscope, good, those are equal. Lower landmarks, and another one. Good, those are also equal and bilateral. Moving on to the stomach, I'm looking for the stomach for that pulsating mass, it still should, shouldn't develop between primary and secondary. Checking for rigidity, checking the four quadrants. Any of this hurt? No. All right, so moving on to the pelvis, claps and ticks, and three planes, one, two, three. I'm also noting if he was incontinent or his priapism. Claps and ticks all the way down his legs. Claps and ticks all the way down his legs. Let me know if any of this hurts, sir. Checking for circulation. All right, strength, sensation, mobility. Can you push? Can you pull? Can you feel which foot I'm grabbing? In my left. What about now? Right. Okay, and again, any of those extra little tools that you guys have for your box that's, that you've learned elsewhere, throw them in. This is just the basics if you want. Claps and ticks on his arms. Any of this hurt, sir? Can you grab my fingers? Can you give me a squeeze? I've got his fingernails so I can check cat refill for circulation. So there's strength, sensation. You can move all that around, push, pull. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm ready for my report or the group package later. That's your test. What did I miss? No.